Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Kila Chari Torah's daily counting of the Omer with uh, spiritual insights uh, from the book Sphira from Our Lives for Monday, April 18th. Uh, Saturday night at the second Seder, we counted one day of the Omer. Uh, for uh, uh, Sunday night, uh, uh, first day of Cholomoid, we count two. Hayom Shnei Yamim La Omer. Now, if you didn't count uh, in the course of the night, you can count uh, the next day without a blessing, and then we continue that evening. As long as you've uh, counted each day, whether with or without a blessing, uh, you are, in fact, able to continue. So let's uh, take a look at the spherot, at the, uh, at the uh, sphera indices uh, for these two days in great uh, brevity. Uh, and again, we're reading from uh, Mrs. Juravel's Sphere in Our Lives, which has a lot more insight than... Uh, we can summarize here, but uh, if you're interested in this, very much worthwhile uh, taking a look. Uh, okay, so week one, day one, <coughs> for the uh, counting for Saturday night and Sunday, uh, loving kindness in loving kindness, that's chesed shebe chesed. The first trait that we explore during Sfirah to Omer is that of chesed, loving kindness. Chesed is our drive and desire to give. All good stems from chesed. It's the trait that links us most to emulating God, the ultimate giver. Uh, God created the world with no other agenda, uh, other, with no agenda other than to give us goodness. Without kindness, the world could not and would not be. Uh, referencing a verse in uh, Psalms, uh, chapter 89, verse 3. Chesed, kindness, is the hallmark of a Jew. We are all about giving him kindness. The first Jew, Abraham, personified chesed, and our display of the Midah of chesed is proof that we are heirs to him as our ancestor. The first blessing in Shemona Esra, in the Amida every day, reminds us that the chesed of Avraham is our magen, <coughs> pardon me, our shield to this day. In this period of growth, when we focus on improving and perfecting our, our connections with others, with God and with ourselves, chesed, kindness, is the mida <coughs> that begins our seven-week journey. It's essential to our work. Loving kindness cements relationships. It stretches us to shift our focus from within ourselves to outside ourselves. The core of our efforts and all our relationships lies in giving and in developing the capacity to give. There is an illustrative story here, <coughs> and uh, 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 she writes uh, as we get closer to the end, to the call to action. She says, not all chesed is chesed. Exclusive clique style giving is not kosher kindness. Today is the day to think of how we are as givers. Does giving come naturally to me or is it draining? When and with whom does giving come more easily to me? Do I give altruistically or only if there's a promise of recognition or gain? Do I give only on my own terms or do I make it about the other person's personality and needs, etc.? Again, summarizing. Finding the truth in our goals of giving takes some honest thinking, working on our relationship skills. Our first goal is to become naturally giving with the goal of ensuring that our recipients feel loved, uplifted, and understood in the process. Now, uh, each day has a, a short call to action, a little spiritual exercise, not something we need to uh, uh, put on a sweatsuit and uh, stretch, uh, but really stretch our imaginations and our, uh, our uh, souls a little bit. So here's the call to action for day one. She writes, think of someone you find it difficult to give to. What makes it hard? If, is there a thought you could try that would make it easier? Try giving to that person in some way with that new thought steering you and see if you feel any better about it. Here are some thoughts that might help. You're not responsible for all of his or her needs. You probably won't receive anything in return, but you'll become more of a giver and that will feel good. God will be proud of you regardless of how the recipient reacts or appreciates you. Okay, so let's uh, put a pause on day one and let's move to day two. Uh, which would be Sunday night and Monday morning. Hayom, uh, uh, hayom shnei yamim la omer. Right, Sunday night, and Monday morning, uh, week one, day two. Today, when you look on page two hundred eighty-six, the, the sphere of the day is gevura shebechesed, discipline uh, or strength in loving kindness. We introduce gevura, discipline into our chesed. Now we're on to day two. Giving is at our core, it's critical to our relationships, but giving without limit, without boundaries, without discipline, does not do justice to the Mida's ultimate goal. Imagine a child raised in a home that was incredibly giving with no sense of limits or discipline. That child's parents' goal was for the child to be perpetually happy. They were very sensitive to the, uh, the child's every need and fearful of not fulfilling it. They were busy taking his emotional temperature, anxious to have him cushioned in a constant state of comfort. Chances are the child would, rem would be undisciplined, entitled, and self-absorbed. Think of how unprepared that child would be to get through life with any real resilience and independence. That child would sorely lack the pride of a solid work ethic and the drive and stamina to achieve real goals. God, in, with great sensitivity, created a world where effort is most often a requirement to yield results. 
That, God knew, would build our pride and self-respect. Unlimited generosity is not God's recipe for kindness. In other words, uh, we learned uh, the part of kindness is when, uh, when uh, to say no and when to uh, hold back or restrain. So again, there's a, a, a story to illustrate, a little bit more conversation, and we'll uh, say the, to, the call to action for today. Think of someone, here's the call to action for day two. Think of someone you know you need, you know you need to say no to or discipline somehow. Were you af- what are you afraid will happen if you do that? Will they like you less? Will they get upset at you? Now think of what will happen if you do not say no or exercise that discipline. Will that f- result feel loving and kind in the long run? If you realize that the discipline is necessary, you might want to try sharing your original fear with the recipient of your discipline. If it's not worth sharing, you don't need to. Either way, uh, see if you feel easier about the gavura you need to impose as part of your love for this person. Okay, we'll leave it here today, and we'll uh, come back tomorrow. Please join us tomorrow for further conversation of the uh, spherot as they uh, relate to uh, the counting and to our own spiritual growth. Have a good moed, uh, happy intermediate days of the festival. Have a good day.